So guys, I received a package in the mail. It's quite large. Oh my goodness, look how big this is. What could this be? A boy squad? <laughs> Open it like a rabid animal. Oh my god. What? My boy squad. MJ, this is crazy. Damn these girls, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Look, my boy squad. That's amazing. How did you do this, MJ? This is like cross-stitched. Like this is, it's like made of yarn. Like, that's amazing craftsmanship. Wow. MJ, this is fantastic. Thank you so much. And it's, it, you know, like, and it's one of my favorite pictures because it's kind of like, reminds me of, I guess, being a musician, and my love for music. Oh boy, squad, isn't that nice? Wow. That's, that's great. I gotta find a place to put that. It says, a cross stitch that is made of 45,864 stitches to be exact. Hehe. <laughs> With 33 different colors of DMC floss. Hope you like it. More power to you. God bless. NSF MJ. MJ, this is really, really special to me. Thank you so much. I feel so lucky, you guys. To have people like MJ, to have people like you supporting. Oh, this is just... This wasn't necessary, but thanks so much. What is this? This is something else. It's a magnet. Oh, this is going on my fridge. Mm-hmm. And there's a message in the back too. Mikey, hope you like it. I love you. And I mean it. Wow, awesome, MJ. Mabuhay squad, yes. This here is going on the fridge. Mm-hmm. Guys, by the way, this month's positive affirmations are, we are in a totally new and bigger league. Let's let that be our mantra this month. All right, guys, today is recording studio day. Yes, we're recording two parodies. All right, guys, here at Sumata. Mm -hmm. And manning the board is Chester Ui. Yes. So today we're gonna be recording two parodies. One of them being the Moana parody that you saw we wrote in the plane. And then um, the other one is uh, a parody about health tests. <laughs> <laughs> of all things. Um, and you guys will see that soon. Mm -hmm. Like my parents. That's it. Where the heat warms your heart by the sea. There. My boy squad, I'm liking it. It's so beautiful. I mean, like, the song, the, com the composition itself, musically, like, lyrics aside, this song that that guy wrote, Lin Limuel, He's so good. It like <laughs> Filipinos on these islands. One more time, sorry. It's gonna be perfect. Filipinos on these islands. Laugh with heart and smile. That's it. When you sing, it helps to smile because they can actually hear it. Especially a song like this. Like it helps to smile. <laughs> I love it. I'm getting goosebumps. I hope you guys like it too. Ooh. Yes. Time to be my kid. It's time to get a sample, but no matter how hard I try. Whoa. Okay. And then I'll do high harmony. Time to be my kid this time. To get the sample, but no matter how hard I try. It. Time to be my kid this time. To get the sample, but no matter how hard I try. It. All right. Finished both parodies. When it was difficult for me. This is the to release. one of the parodies. Abdominal ultrasound did x-ray and hair drug test no hair on my head but all of these yes. hyper season offers this affordable hair all right guys we're having a lunch break spent the whole morning right RJ recording um 
and I'm so happy with it. Actually, so the Moana one, I was like, I the music is so good, like the original, it's so nice. So when I did that recording and listening to the playback, I was getting goosebumps and like tearing up, and that's how I know that that recording was yes, I'm happy with that recording. The second song is more, you know, Lokohan, our regular Lokohan offerings. It's funny. Mmm, yummy. Chicken wings. Bangos. Mmm. Mmm, an eggplant. Yes, of course we need vegetables. Yum. Guys, look at that Hello Kitty car. <laughs> That's great. Wow. That person must really love Hello Kitty. So we're back now, and now we just need to mix the song and finalize it. Make sure all the levels are good. Make sure background vocals aren't too loud. Make sure the lead vocal is okay. The effects on the vocals are just right. Gotta balance all of the sounds. Yes. I can't wait to shoot these. Parodies. <laughs> See, we recorded last time um, a Bruno Mars parody, um, but we've put it on the shelf for now because after listening to it over a few weeks, we felt it wasn't the strongest. And of course, we only want to put out our best material. So as a result, some of our stuff kind of gets shelved until we have no you know, parodies to put out, then we'll decide to get back to it. But these two that I recorded today, these will be coming out soon. We're really confident about them. This is Ton, the brother of Chester. Um, Ton is gonna mix the songs now. <laughs> I'm so sorry guys, this whole time, since yesterday, my camera wasn't on auto, so like, there, much better lighting now, right? Sorry about all of these lighting problems. <laughs> so now Ton is making sure all backup vocals, the levels are good. It's shy. Yeah. See? It's shy. So no vocal stands out over the other, except for maybe lead vocal. It's a very time consuming process. And you need a good ear for it too. It's shy. Don't be shy, don't don't be shy, don't be don't be shy, don't be shy, don't don't be shy, don't be shy, don't don't be shy, don't be don't be don't be don't be don't don't be shy. Guys, here's the Marwana parody. I was born and I it's a beautiful song, the original. I like the original. <laughs> I should have covered it. The guy who wrote this is the guy who wrote um the Hamilton musical. He's brilliant. Alright, thanks Don. Yes, thank your brother for me too. <laughs> Good work, bye. Alright, done. RJ, are you happy with the songs? Yes, alright. So am I. My boy squad, can't wait for you guys to see it. We, I can't wait to film it. Now it's up to RJ to schedule the shooting for these parodies. Good morning, Mabuhay Squad! Yes! Beautiful day here in Manila, as usual. A little bit of overcast. It might rain later, maybe. Um, and I'm off to get my head shaved. I know it looks like I don't have hair. <laughs> but it's long na! This is long. I know it starts to get long because my scalp starts to break out. Like, I start to get little pimples on my scalp. Like, my scalp's not used to having hair anymore. <laughs> so I'm gonna go have my hair cut. Shave. Now it's a Monday morning. It's like, I don't know, 9.30 a.m. right now. So traffic isn't so bad. But when traffic isn't bad, that's when it's kind of dangerous to cross the street. You gotta find, find your way in like this, see? It's like a real life Frogger game. I'm so used to it now, but if you're not used to crossing the street in Manila. It's kind of scary. <laughs> Ooh, 
there was a clearing it's so sunny again now to get to this barber like I usually go to a barber which is closer to me but I wanted to show you one of the places that I used to go to just nearby in the neighborhood in the barangay um, where it's a lot cheaper it's like 50 pesos to get my head shaved and um, that's like one US dollar <laughs> it's really cheap and to get there I need to take a tricycle so. Hi Kuya, producer's market that's where we're going 40 pesos Take a boat. and to get there it's 40 pesos less than a dollar Alright, here we go, Mabuhay Squad! The roller coaster of the Philippines! Thank you. So this ride costed 40 pesos. Ah, channel ka? Ha? Ah? Channel. YouTube. Walang channel. <laughs> he was asking me what TV station I'm from. But I'm now freelance, so I don't belong to an exclusive TV network. Thank you. YouTubing is generally a new phenomenon here in the Philippines even though I've been doing it now since 2011 uh, it's still relatively new but it's big it's getting bigger and bigger every year like when I first started YouTube and when I first moved here to the Philippines it was pretty small <laughs> there weren't that many youtubers so much but now there are so many it's really great to see I dream that one day YouTube will be lauded as you know, a main uh, platform for entertainment and for all things, even more so than movies and TV. But I think first they need to improve internet speed <laughs> for that to happen. We got Sabong Rooster. It's tight on a rope there. Of course, here's the Palenque. I'll take you guys in here someday. It's really a world of its own. You can get anything really fresh. But I'll show you guys where I get my haircut. This is my old hood. Like when I first moved to Manila, I came here for everything. <laughs> like literally everything. All my groceries, fruits. Um, you can buy anything. You can get pants hemmed here for cheap. It's really fantastic. Rice, condiments, anything. The Palenque is your one-stop shop. See, look, there's a tailor. You can get things hemmed on the spot for literally like 50 pesos, which is a dollar. So this is where the 24-hour barber shop I usually go to is. It's here. Let's see, it's in here. Is anyone here? <gasps> Hello, po. Hello. Hi. Ah, Ligo, okay. See guys, this is the barber shop. It's very simple. We've got our chairs here. It's air conditioned. I've been coming here for years. Apparently the barber is taking a shower. <laughs> so I'm just gonna wait here for him. Now this place is 24 hours. It's open like all the time. No matter what time of the day, I can come here and get a shave. And they also shave your face. They give you massage. Thing. It's really great. And Jomar has arrived. My barber for like five years or more. <laughs> He's freshly showered. So fresh and so clean, clean. Lokuya, zero po. He knows. 
Kuya. All right. Salamat. See you again. All right. Nice and clean shaven. Mm -hmm. Now that cost 50 pesos, but I just give him 100 because hello, two bucks, right? Versus the how much did I pay in LA? In LA, I paid like 20 bucks to shave my head. All right, heading back home. Now we're going to pass my very first place here in Mandaluyong in Manila um, and if you saw our vlog a night out in Mandaluyong I introduced you guys to it already but now you can see it during the day it's this house here it's the house of my tita Lin this here see that's the gate and I lived somewhere up there <laughs> it's a boarding house it's got like 200 borders and I lived there for six months on this very street and I remember in the mornings having to walk here with my suitcase to hail a taxi because the taxis would pass by here and I would get to my TV tapings at GMA every morning by taking a taxi right here <laughs> good memories I can't believe it's been that's that was six years ago now all right guys so now i have some ant duties <laughs> my fire ants here it's a little dangerous <laughs> well it's not really dangerous i mean the ants sting so when i work around them um i'm very careful now these ants are tropical fire ants they're from philippines you find them everywhere they're all over manila and they're an aggressive species but uh see here these test tubes um, are usually filled with water, but they've run out of water. They drank it all. These ants drink a lot of water. So now I got to go in there, remove these test tubes and brush off as many ants as I can um, and not get stung. Refill those test tubes with water. So I'll show you how I do that. Here we go. Okay, so here's what I have to do. So first I got to wear gloves for this, obviously because these ants sting and on bare skin trust me not fun and again like i'm not endangering myself in any way these ants are just i mean if you're from philippines or if you've been in any tropical country you'll know these these are biting ants they're red ants all right so i just removed the cover now the inside is lined here with baby powder and so the ants slip off so they can't come out see this is called an outworld this is one of the items that we sell at my website antscanada.com um and uh, it's built especially for ants to keep them in now what would happen if these ants escape well kind of nothing they just they'll move out of my place because my place is clean and there's no food for them to eat so they would move back outside from whence they came no i'm not endangering anyone in my building i'm not endangering myself by keeping these ants these ants are just found everywhere okay so now i have some baby powder um and slip off baby powder for whatever reason it's slippery for insects so then I have to put baby powder on my gloves so they slip off my gloves. All right, so now my gloves are covered in baby powder and I'm ready to get in there. Okay guys, wish me luck my buhay squad.